All right, this will be a little hard to film, but um, this is Noah Heavey explaining why it is impossible to have a perfectly cubic twisty puzzle um, above six by six. All right, uh, here we go. First, you start off with a square. And around it, you would draw a circle. Pardon the sketchy freehand. All right, then you would draw a point in the very middle of there and in the middle of the square and circle. All right, from here you can draw a line up. You can continue it down as well if you'd like. And let's draw one off to the corner. Right, right now, what we're trying to find is the length of this right here, all right? Right now, we know that this is one half the distance of the square, and this, from center to corner, is the radius of the circle, all right? So we know from here to here is also the radius of the circle. So from here to here, it's the radius of the circle minus half the length of an edge. So for simplicity's sake, we'll just say one edge of the uh, square is 100 units of whatever, all right? So if this is 100 from here to here, this must be 50. All right. So from here to here is radius. All right, well, using Pythagorean's theorem, we know this is a right angle. All right, this is 50, this is 50. So this must be, uh, so since these are both 50, this makes it 70.71 units. We could say millimeters, inches, whatever. All right, so from here to here must be 70.71 minus 50, which is 20.71. All right. So, all right, so as this puzzle rotates, the uh, corner piece or edge piece, whatever, we can say whatever layer we're looking at, will rotate, all right? And as it rotates, it will stick out from the puzzle. So we're gonna do some math right now, all right? So we say we have a six by six cube, all right? It's a edge. We'll say that's 100 again, divided into six. Six, all right, whatever, not even. But just using normal math, 100 divided by six is 16.67, or 16 and two thirds. All right, but that's only the measurement of one edge piece this direction. We need to measure it diagonally because that's how it would be sticking out. So we would do Pythagorean's theorem for 16.67 going two ways, and then the diagonal would be, my math is over here, 23.67. All right, since 23.57 is more than 20.71, it means it'll be held in just barely by uh, just about three units, would be millimeters or whatever. All right, so if we were to do a seven by seven, we know uh, 100 divided by seven is 14.29. All right, so that would be going in two directions. Then the diagonal would measure 20.2, all right? Well, 20.2 would be sticking out, and since 20.71 is bigger, there's nothing holding in that piece, and that piece would fall out. So that means six by six is the biggest you can get with keeping the puzzle perfectly cubic, as well as keeping perfectly cubic shapes for all the pieces. Um, and that's about that.
If you have any questions, uh, just post or some shit like that. All right, bye.